there. It's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Big Brother Reindeer Games Episode 2 that aired last night. We have a break tonight on an episode, and the next episode will air tomorrow, Thursday evening. And then we have the final three episodes coming up here that will air next week. Uh, so, uh, last night's episode was interesting, uh, because, uh, they did, like, another variation with this Christmas decor. I don't know whether or not the cast is sleeping at this house or not, or if they're making appear that they're sleeping at this house. I don't know, because I have yet to see any beds. Um, in any of the rooms, everything's pretty much decorated and Christmas stuff. Uh, but nonetheless, they decided to make it seem like this was like a morning challenge and everything else. Jordan, uh, was again the Santa's elf for the episode. So I think this was her last episode before either Derek X or Tiffany, um, who are rumored to be the other elves host the remaining games on the show. So, uh, we had our first challenge, uh, in the morning, which was, uh, uh, this goofy challenge about uh, there's 20 kiss Christmas carols and um, 19 of the song sheets are like ripped up and stuff. And you have to figure out uh, all through the house, you know, which one of the songs you don't see out of the uh, 19 um, ripped up tracks. And that's the 20th song. And then whoever wins is going to be of uh, the person who um, comes and sings Christmas carols, right? So ultimately, uh, everybody was trying to strategize. Any everybody didn't want Cody to win. Everybody finally is waking up to the duo that is Co Cody and Frankie, and how they're not like hiding that they're the two turtle doves and all these things. And um, nonetheless, I had a feeling that Cody was going to win this challenge because there were some people who were trying to ring in early just so that they could, uh, you know, basically, you know, not show their hand in this game and throw the game essentially but then there were some people who genuinely wanted to win but just chose the wrong answer right and then there's some people who didn't want the power x said that he knew the answer but he didn't want the power and i'm like well, why not right uh so nonetheless cody ends up winning and uh the missing song that didn't have that wasn't ripped up was deck the hall so then they had um you know this choral group come in and sing deck the halls or whatever to celebrate cody's win and as we know once you win you get a naughty or nice you know type of thing right so the advantage for cody this go around for uh the santa brawl was he would get to pick his own team it was a team game this next challenge right and then the disadvantage is going to be uh whoever he chooses that is on the opposing team they'll have you know some type of disadvantage that is going to hinder them in this challenge right and so something told me that this is going to go left right i just had a feeling it was going to go left right and in cody's thought process he's like you know what since i won i'm going to go with all the strongest people and ideally i wanted to be all the guys but but i have to leave i have to leave a guy available for the women so it doesn't look like i'm just like anti-women altogether, right and i was like what is going on uh so he's up here plotting with frankie and then plotting separately with x and x is up here saying to kobe cody that like you need somebody cerebral on the team and he is like what does that mean and i'm like oh my gosh I'm like, this is already the moment that that happened. I was like, I don't care what the challenge is. Cody's team has lost. That was what I was saying in my head. The moment he is up here asking uh, X what cerebral means. I was like, they've lost the challenge, you guys. The, whatever this is, I don't care if it was physical, if it was a memory, if it was a puzzle comp. I said they already lost the challenge. And so, you know, x is throwing out different names he's throwing out you know taylor's name you know and cody's pretending in the diary room that he's going to try to choose taylor and that you know maybe he should have his enemies closer to him and all this because um you know taylor was throwing his name out there that she wanted him gone and um then x is out here throwing uh, nicole's name saying how good nicole is and challenges and all of these things and uh you know that we need somebody also and i think the other thought process was if cody's team were to lose he needs to figure out who he wants to go against in the santa showdown right to see who gets eliminated right 
And so I think his thought process was he knows if he's going up against Comp Beast, either X or, um, you know, Frankie, then it's going to be pretty neck and neck, right? So he also was thinking strategically, okay, if they did lose, who could he choose that he could beat? But what they didn't know, what they failed to realize was that they didn't know the impact. Um, whoever the losing team is, uh, the winning team gets to decide basically who they get to save. But Cody and everyone else, they didn't know at the time how many people are able to be saved right they didn't know if it was one person or two people right because you need at least two people to do the showdown right and so nonetheless we get to this challenge right and it's a balancing challenge of basically having to balance christmas trees with ornaments right and making sure the tree branches don't wobble and um and then once you uh you know pass you get the go ahead you get the green light you can move on to the larger trees that are going to require larger ornaments more tree branches to balance right and so the punishment was since cody i uh, gave taylor the uh naughty uh you know disadvantage was taylor had to start off with this additional tree this additional little tree uh she had to complete that first before the team could you know basically continue so the team that cody assembled that he thought was his avengers was um him x Frankie and Nicole and then which left uh Brittany Danielle Taylor and Josh as the other team and so Brittany is dragging Cody in these DRs and so is Danielle saying that you know basically he thinks that they're losers and even Josh felt a certain way thinking you know that Cody basically feels that he's expendable and all of these things so so they're dragging him and they're extra motivated now to win because they're like, you know, whatever it is, we're going to be fired up now because you basically told us we weren't anything, right? And so Taylor finishes uh, her disadvantage in the challenge like pretty quickly, right? Meanwhile, Nicole goes first because it goes like one by one. Only one person can do one tree branch at a time for this balancing act. And Nicole was having some struggles trying to balance this tree, uh, which opened the door, you know, for, um, you know, other people to come in and, and, and get to work. Right. And so, you know, it ended up being Taylor's team was beasting you guys. And Taylor went next to last and Josh went last. And, and it was funny because after Nicole finally got it, uh, X was supposed to go next on their team, right? And so X was even struggling because X is usually pretty good at challenges, but he was struggling trying to balance uh, this particular challenge. And Frankie's up here cracking jokes saying, well, we finally found X's weakness. He can't balance balls. And I was like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you know, by the time, uh, you know, Nicole and X took all day to try to balance their trees, uh, it finally got to Frankie. And I don't even think Cody even had an opportunity to get a crack at it because Josh was already done. Right. Uh, so the underdog, the team that Cody, you know, felt was expendable, that felt were losers, uh, ended up beating cody the almighty strong cody and his team of avengers you guys and i couldn't have been more thrilled on top of having a disadvantage as well having an additional tree to balance on top of it all right and i was like oh my gosh i was like taylor's karma is is undefeated these people better leave her alone right uh so nonetheless they find out at the conclusion of the challenge that I, uh, you know, basically three people from Cody's team are going to have to compete now in this Santa showdown, right? And also, uh, they can only save one person from the team. So everybody's coming up to, you know, the winning team, trying to convince Taylor, Danielle, Brittany, and Josh, you know, that they should be saved. And, uh, you know, and really for me, uh, I don't know how I feel about who actually got saved, um, but it's funny because... I was laughing at X being upset. X felt a certain type of way. He felt that because he was in uh, this alliance with Danielle, Taylor, and um, Josh, that he should have got a reprieve, that he shouldn't have had to compete, but there's only going to be one person you could save, right? And so he's up here, you know, saying all these threats in the DR that if they don't, you know, save me, I'm going to know where I stand. And I'm like, 
but you just said the first episode that you're not locked in with any alliance and that you're going to gravitate to whatever gives you the best option to win and the thing with x that is getting exposed here is he cannot function without other people playing for him and and that was the crutch that he was able to ride till the end until it got to final six of the cookout and then he had to win comps right and that's the part people don't realize is that everybody was playing for x and the only people who were calling it out for what it was was tiffany and ultimately kylan once they peep game right and they were like so you guys are all just going to hand x the victory right and, and nobody's going to try to you know take him down or take him out or nothing and so they peep game which is why it just makes his win so crazy now um with all the temper tantrums he was throwing and and just acting very entitled right and so basically nicole pitches her case and basically says well basically they're all stronger than me and it would be stupid you know for you to keep one of them and not take the shot right now which technically she's right but people need to stop underestimating nicole franzel you guys because she you know has this act down pat right and then she somehow ends up towards the end like and, and then you're like oh wait we we got we, we got to do something right no 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 she's already a winner the answer is to get her out and out early right uh but nonetheless uh the team just you know deliberates or whatever else and basically they were going to narrow it down to either saving nicole or x and basically they decided to save nicole and once again x is throwing a temper tantrum well i guess i'm not in an alliance and i guess i have to do this on my own and it's like it's a cast of nine people and it's you know you have to win to get to reindeer games to get to final four what are you complaining about this isn't even a situation where you're in a cast of 12 or 16 or whatever and your alliance turned on you no 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 this is a cast you're down to eight people you know the four of you lost you know the three of you have to compete in santa showdown what made you think that they were not going to uh you know choose nicole um over you and that you would be the one to you know stay with them make it make sense and the other piece that x isn't thinking about they know that he can beat cody and uh frankie so his temper tantrums and and this woe is me and i don't have an alliance and i guess we're not really down for the cause and blah 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 was bs was absolutely bs uh so nonetheless we get to santa showdown right cody knew that he was gonna he wasn't gonna be saved right because he he basically chose that team right uh so basically we had a challenge where it was one of those challenges where uh you know it was kind of like a memory game where there were five kids that have specific requests for like the things that they do or don't like as far as christmas toys right and so each person uh had to correctly identify the five toys that would be the best christmas gift for these five kids and you would have to buzz in and it will let you know whether or not you're right or wrong right and i was like oh this is a challenge that is going to be made for either frankie or x to just win i never had any confidence that cody was going to do well in this challenge because he's not good like with you know certain memory things like like this on this type of capacity right it's one thing uh with the alleged memory uh at, at the end of all stars uh but that's another conversation for another day uh but basically you had to run around uh where all these toys were and you know find out okay well they don't like bows on this toy they don't like this color on this toy they don't want to have the same toy as this kid and and blah 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 and so uh x finished very fast like super fast but the first time that he buzzed in he was wrong and so at that point he realized that he had only one thing wrong right and so then he went to go get the correct thing which was a telescope and here's frankie watching x you guys watching x seeing what x is doing and then he's like in the dr you know i'm observant i pay attention to things so therefore when i saw x get that telescope i was like sorry cody i need to go get the telescope too and i was like what what is happening so x gets the telescope he buzzes in and he wins right and then he still has an attitude talking about well i guess i have to play this game for myself now it's like what i'm like with this attitude i would throw you in santa jo um showdown whether i'm aligned with you or not just on gp 
just because of this temper tantrum you're throwing. When you know daggone well, you have the best chance to win out of everybody. You should be taking this as a compliment, right? And so nonetheless, um, Frankie ends up finishing second. He's celebrating, but ultimately he starts celebrating and then he realizes he looks over at Cody, uh, who is going to be leaving. And, um, and then he's, and then he quickly changes like, oh, oh man, <laughs> you know, it, it was, it was, it was hilarious. Uh, it was just a hilarious turn of events, you guys. And so again, the loser, uh, you know, has to choose a present, you guys, which is either money or fruitcakes. And I have no idea back to back Cameron and Cody are choosing obvious boxes that are going to be fruitcakes that are not going to be money and i'm like are people not familiar with how money is wrapped in gifts and and how you know how it's put together in certain boxes because this is embarrassing right uh so basically cody ends up with the fruitcake but I'm, but this is the second time, you know, uh, you know, Sari took him out on traders and now he got taken out by basically Taylor and everybody else on this show on BB reindeer games. And, um, I don't know, like, this is why a lot of times winners do not return for another season on the show, because either you get exposed like X has, or you're an early target like Cody is right. Because they're like, we're not going to keep a winner in the game this long. Are you kidding me? right and cody has done multiple shows and everything right so they're like "Mm -mm, you got to go we got to get the strong people out now so that you know we have a chance even josh said that this levels the playing field because we got out a big target right and it would have been dumb to you know save anybody else uh that wasn't you know nicole so the next episode airs tomorrow thursday night i can't wait it comes on at eight this time uh, so we will see ultimately what these next challenges are. And I am still rooting. Like I said, I, I think this possibly could be a final four situation with Danielle Taylor, uh, Brittany and Josh we will remain to see it because as of now, X can still comp beast his way out. They would literally just have to put another balancing, I think, uh, type of showdown, I think, in the next showdown, uh, if they want to take out X, if they want to take the shot at X so that he doesn't make reindeer games, right? But they still should not underestimate Nicole. I think that they need to get out Frankie for sure because Frankie is good at comps. They need to get out Nicole for sure because they always underestimate Nicole. And then she winds up at the end. And they for sure need to get out X because he is acting ungrateful and bothered for zero reason at all. Knowing daggone well, he knows these comps inside and out with the exception of balancing balls. And um, is going to do well anyways. Like it was like, seriously, are you serious right now? don't have loser mentality and you're supposed to be the winner representing the cookout for season 23 like don't do that right uh so there is that so let me know your guys thoughts in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment i post new content on my channel and with that being said i'll talk to you guys again very soon